Hey there guys. Um, this video today is going to be, first of all, tell me if I short. It's just really, it's just something that's on my mind and kind of been on my mind. Um, and uh, just some things that I've been seeing, you know, come up uh, lately, you know. Uh, it's all been been. It's just that, uh, I don't know, maybe this is, I'm just kind of noticing it, you know, quite a bit right now. But, uh, <clears throat> so, I'm coming. I'm standing in front of my door. Um, I live in a complex where um, there's some Arabs, Muslims, whatever. They're Haji garb. Uh, and so, you know, it does bother me one way or another. There's, there's everybody over here, white, black, Hispanic, them, you know, uh, everybody. <clears throat> uh, but so, I'm standing there, and I'm speaking to my daughter, uh, I was going this way, a Muslim lady uh, was coming toward where my door was, uh, and I noticed her um, speaking to my daughter, as I said, um, and she, uh, I just noticed her, I looked at her, and this woman gave me the nastiest, the dirtiest look, as if I had done something to her and proceeded to go across the grass all the way another way. Didn't bother me. I didn't really think anything about it. Uh, uh, so I don't know where she went. Didn't bother me. There's a few of them that are kind of in this section uh, that I live in. So uh, <clears throat> but where exactly she went, I don't know. But it doesn't matter. It's doing something else. But it just kind of brought to mind, to me, how, um, and I'm, there's a few of them over here, like I say, who um, I really don't look at anybody at all or engage people very much. But I have noticed them looking at me and my daughter, you know. Uh, their children, you know, their children outside playing, their children just kind of standing like, you know, deer in headlights or like or some kind of oddities or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but of course, we just keep walking. I don't even really think about it. Uh, but, you know, it, that started me thinking. And a few things that happened on my job got me to thinking that if, you know, so many people claim to put racism on white people, Caucasians, whatever, um, and, you know, they almost have the, the, the attitude that if all white people were dead, that the world would be a better place. Racism, uh, racism would uh, not exist anymore and um, the world should be a better place. Um, and that's not true. That's not true at all. I have known for a long time, and anybody looking with any good common sense would know uh, <clears throat> that this world, if every white person in it is not bad, not that every white person is a racist, but that's how some people think about it. But if they were all gone, that would still be racism, classism, sexism. There would still be all of this because it's so ingrained in this society, in this realm. Uh, it's been taught very well. Sometimes I think people are racist and what's going on, you know. Now, here I am, a black, African-American, or black woman, period. Uh, and 
she's a, probably an heiress or whatever. Uh, so she's dark as well. <laughs> you know, not as dark as me, but she's dark as well. And I think to myself, for her to look at me and the way she and some of the other ones around here look at me and my daughter, it just makes me wonder what's in their mind. Sometimes I wonder that. Like I said, I really don't care, but it does make me wonder a little bit because I think to myself, do you realize that the ones who talked racism or where we learned from don't like you either? <laughs> you know, they, they, I mean, I probably like you more than them more than likely, and I don't even know you. I don't care about you. On my job, we have a lot of rich old elderly people. Being old, period, which already come from a um, frame of mind or a mindset where um, in their day racism was probably good and free and you know, somebody was going to chastise you and get you funny. Or we, or we would call racist. They probably, I'm sure, don't call themselves racist. But uh, it was okay. It was normal. Uh, so on my job, uh, we have lessons. We have uh, especially two young lady who uh, were their hubbies, whatever, uh, or haji, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, they wear those, formal, you know, they have to wear the uniform, but they still wear their headpiece. And uh, these women are black, like me, so they're not Arab or what have you. And on my job, I hear the old, the elderly people, they don't want them to serve them. They don't want them to take their order. And they certainly don't want to eat the food that they bring them. Now, this is said behind their backs, of course. But like I say, it just amazes me how you could be racist towards people who look like you. And I'm talking about dark skinned Muslims or even Arabs. Because there are some black people who are as white, of course, you know, as Arabs. Uh, but yet it's still, you know, the ones who are supposed to run society, the ones who are in charge of whatever. Like I said before, they hate all of us. So it doesn't matter. Your black skin, your hubby, your the fact that you're non white, <laughs> you're hated. So the inner racism is what I don't get. You know, um, there's a lot of racism with the Hispanics on my job. There's a lot of Hispanics there who are mostly in the kitchen. Uh, and they have run into the black people. You know, I mean, it's just, and, and you know, it's racist. You know, it's racist by the conversation, by the exchange of what's going on. So, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna pull off the video. I just, you know, it just makes me want to share the fact and to let you know that if every white person is wrong, and there was none of that from them. It has been ingrained in us so much until we would carry it on. We would carry it on. You know? It, it just seems like it's just different. As long as you're different from me, I'm going to make a differentiation. As long as you don't look like me, you know, there's something wrong with you or different. You know? I mean, it, 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 it's crazy to me. There has been uh, even among black people, this colorism thing, where 
I've been hearing and seeing so much um, black, you know, brown skin, darker skin. Uh, black people don't like these bottoms. Those are you know, like on my parents. Uh, I don't even like the word bottom because to me they're just black people. But I hear the distinction. I hear oh, a lot of these videos uh, against black people. You know, they've been used as a tool by the white man to, you know, to uh, work against us and everything. Uh, and so there are a lot of black people who do not like the look of bottoms whatsoever at all, period. They don't even consider them black. Which is crazy because white people don't consider them white and they're certainly not any other color. The only thing they could be is black. You know, you get down to it, they're the ones that make the rule. One drop of blood, black blood, and you're black. So it really doesn't matter what you want. <laughs> you know, want to really be taken to somebody. Uh, but I mean, it's just, it's just so crazy to me how we continue to make differences amongst ourselves, continue to carry on racism. And, you know, we say we hate it. We say we don't like it. We carry it on. You know, we carry it on. You know, whatever is said behind doors about black people, about black women, about black men, or whatever. You know, and like I said, black people do it too. Black people do it too. I mean, everybody has their degree of racism, sexism. Uh, look, look at the sexism. We have all of these men. They have taken it out for new people quick this week. Uh, but we have all of these businessmen, actors, Hollywood moguls, and everything, who are being accused of sexual, uh, sexual uh, harassment in so, so many different areas. Uh, and now, crazy enough, you found a way black men and white men to come together against women because you hear, oh, these women are just Jezebels. You know, these women are, just, this is a witch hunt. You know, these women wanted it. They were consenting adults. They could have said no. And, I, and I'm just like, wow, that's amazing to me. So now black men are joining in with white men defending them, you know? And <laughs> it's crazy because it's like, you know, these are not just straight outright lies. They may have to do investigations or whatever, whatever they're going to do. It's, it's been so many, and there's so many more. I don't know what that was about. But like I say, this week they have completely taken it out. You don't, you're not hearing anything about it. Uh, but that particular situation is a situation as to where they are finding these men at fault one way or another. You know, they're not just taking these people's jobs or whatever with no evidence. You know, they're having, they're, they have evidence, so this is why these accusations are coming out. You know, it's no witch hunt. You know what I'm saying? But this, once again, that's the, sex, that's the sexism. You know, women say something, they're an enemy. If the women don't say something, then, oh, well, she must have been a she must have been a whore, or she, whatever. And then, like I say, she says something about it, and all of a sudden, oh, they're lying to me. And it's like, you can't win with those, you know? So, we're in a world of isms. We're in a world of isms. Uh, it's sad. And we need to check ourselves. We really need to check ourselves. Our attitudes, our thoughts, the way that we feel, you know? Especially black men who are defending these white businessmen and these whatever against women. Because you know things like that go on. I mean, things like that go on. But this is just that old boys club thing as to where, you know, you know, we're, we're not gonna snitch. You know, but it's it is what it is, you know. Um, it's 
a really sad thing because to me, I can't think of anything that white men come to the defense of black men about, period. But you have so many black men who are coming to the defense of these white business owners, these white owners, Matt Lauer, you know, you know, as soon as, as, soon as they brought up about Matt Lauer, my whole world fell apart. And it's just like everybody's like, oh man, come on now, not Matt Lauer. He didn't do this and this. And it's just like, how do you know? How do you know? You can't just stick together and go on. It's wrong. So you guys, I'm going to cut this video off. I had a long day. Uh, this is something to think about. It really is, you know. This is a world of business. And the only way things are going to change is when we change ourselves, our own attitudes, and look at what we're doing. You know, uh, we have to see ourselves. So, um, you guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. And until the next video. See you next